Hello everybody, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you, I'm crazy uh, excited because I went in my pantry, I grabbed whatever I had, leftover nuts, chocolate chips, the holiday cherries, take a look. Uh, so I put biscotti together, fatti biscotti, and I posted them on my stories and everybody's been asking for the recipe. So today I have a flight but with all this craziness, I'm, I am. I, I hope I could get the cookies made, the video done, and I'm gonna take the cookies with me where I'm going. So let's get started again. What you put in it is whatever you like, whatever you have left over. What I'm using is uh, chocolate chips, sliver, uh, sliced almonds, some walnuts, pistachios, and the cherries, you know, those little beautiful colorful cherries. Um, like I said, I did this already, it was delicious. Uh, it's my base biscotti recipe, which I love. It comes together so easily. Uh, so stick around and let's do it together. First thing first, I wanna tell you, it is so important to measure your flour. The sugar, not so much because it's compact. It, it, you get, the cup is 200 grams. But with the flour, you can measure the flour five times and you'll get different measurements all the time. So my suggestion, get yourself a little scale, especially in baking, it's so worth it. This is my Weight Watcher scale, don't tell my leader. I use it for all my baking. So here's the half a kilo of the flour two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a cup of uh, sugar. We have four eggs. One is to egg wash, so we need that later. The three eggs is what goes in the recipe. And we have a cup, a, a stick and a half of butter, which is basically 170 grams or six ounces. And right here, I'm going to use vanilla extract. Uh, this is a paste of vanilla bean, which I love. Again, the, what you put in it, whatever you have extra, you cannot go wrong. I'm using about two cups of, uh, uh, between the nuts and the chocolate chip, and then the cherries. So let's get started. Stand up mixer, what first we're gonna do is add the, uh, the butter, the eggs, and the sugar. Butter, the sugar, and before you even start doing this, because this comes together quickly, and the three eggs, put the oven on 350 and line your uh, cookie sheet with parchment paper. So there you have it. Start it out slowly because it's going to splatter everywhere. So I warned you, okay? So put it on, start it out one or two, just get it going. You'll see, it'll do its thing. Go ahead and let it all get incorporated. You'll see when it's ready. Salt and baking powder in the dry ingredients. And what you want to do is just whisk it. Just a little bit. Don't get it on the counter though. Okay. I find that when you use a whisk, it incorporates and it lightens the flour a little bit. I always like to do that. Let's take a look, just a few minutes. Do you see it? How beautiful, light and pale it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add all the flour right in. Low speed and let the dough absorb the butter and the eggs absorb all the flour. Okay. On the lowest setting, just let all the um, the liquid uh, ingredients absorb all the flour and come together as a dough. Look at this, just a minute or so, and it's a beautiful dough. It's not sticky. Look, it doesn't stick on my hands. Really great to work with. Look how easy it comes off the paddle too. Not one of those sticky dolls that you gotta uh, be careful when you work. This is great. This is why I love it so much. Let's add all the ingredients, the rest of the ingredients in. Look at that. Looks like a lot, but don't worry, it isn't. The walnuts, I'm gonna give it a quick crush with my hands, just like that. Let's get the cherries in too. Guess what, guys? It's easier to do it by hand than with the with the spatula. So here it goes. Let's move it over to the work surface. Pick up any of the loose uh, chips or, or pistachios that are trying to fly out. Okay, here we go. It 
Today I'm gonna to get really fancy. I'm gonna weigh the dough so I could have two even loaves. So let's take a look. This weighs a kilo four. So we're gonna do 700 grams each loaf. The sheet lined with parchment paper, first loaf right on. Now let's roll out the second loaf. Let's go ahead and flatten it out like this. Also could do this, like this, okay? And make it the length of your cookie sheet. My cookie sheet is about 20 inches long. And I'm gonna say, what is this, about two and a half inches thick. Next, the egg wash right on. In the oven at 350. 30 minutes in, they're golden. Take a look if you wanna come closer. See that it's nice and cooked. Now, just let them sit, not even five minutes, and let's just enough that it's cool enough to the touch, and we'll start cutting them. You could cut them on a slant. I just like them to cut straight down. Very important, the knife needs to be serrated. Otherwise, it's hard to cut through them. See, now the cherries stick a little bit, so you gotta be a little patient. Don't forget to clean up your counter, just because if the crumbs get under the knife, it kind of moves the uh, the uh, the edge and it and it breaks the cookie. So just like that, take your time doing this step. Guardate che bel colore. We have the the green cherry. We have the red cherry here. Uh, wonderful. Like now so back on the cookie sheet, side down, just like this. I love the cozzetto. The end called multiple names. Let's go with cozzetto. So. Um, and I'm going to continue cutting till I'm all done. Very important, lower your oven to 325. If we miss the fly, we'll be right back. But I don't think so, we should be okay. Thank you for watching, please subscribe. Hit the like button. You know who you are that's getting these cookies. We're coming, we'll see you tonight. Super excited. Wait, I gotta get something else. I'm ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. Alla prossima, arrivederci. Bye-bye.